Let's take a look at a few of the new features in Sword Searcher 8. First, we've got the Webster 1913 Dictionary. This is actually the Webster's Revised Unabridged Dictionary from 1913. This is a really good early 20th century thorough dictionary. It has over 120,000 words to find. It has about 48,000 of these cross links like this. And over 4,000 scripture references are linked in this dictionary. Now this does not replace the 1828 dictionary. These are different dictionaries. The Webster's 1828 dictionary is still here and actually has been improved a little bit. It is now a single volume module, so it's a little bit easier to use than it was before. Next, I want to show you the KJVTSK. That's kind of a mouthful, but what this is, is the King James Bible with cross-references integrated from the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge. Now, the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge has been part of Sword Searcher for a long time, pretty much since uh, the beginning. But now this is a lot easier to use because it is integrated into the text this way. This is not the same as the KJV. This is optional. It's just a different tab. You click here and you select it. Here's an example. This is a link to cross-references for this part of the verse. It's in line for a pure heart. If you hold your mouse pointer over it, you'll see the references, and if you click them, you can explore the references conveniently in a verse list over here. And if you want to, you can chain additional references just by clicking on those links as well. So these are the inline references that are attached to these words in the verse. This represents reverse references. And what that means is this, ref this verse here, 1 Timothy 1.5, has quite a few other references that link back to this verse. So that's what this is for. This will show you all of these verses that are linking to this verse. It's a good way to get even more references if you're looking for, for just a little bit more detail or just something else. And you'll also see these. These are general cross-references. A lot of verses have these. Uh, this mark indicates that there are general references to other verses that you can explore. And again, these cross-references, they have always been part of Sword Searcher, but uh, now having them integrated like this in the Bible text, I think you'll find them a lot easier to use, and it's a really, really nice way to do Scripture with Scripture comparisons. It's a really good module. I hope you like it. Another new feature is this integrated bar graph in search results. I've done a search for the word life, and as you can see, there's now a bar graph at the top here that gives me a really quick visual way to see where the most matches are in the Bible. The books of the Bible are color-coded. If you hold your mouse over them, you'll see, like for example, here's Proverbs with 38 verses, or John with 38 verses. And if you click it, it'll take you to the first result in that book. And you can turn this off if you don't like it, but I think you'll enjoy having this here. It's really a neat way to see uh, how the words are used throughout the Bible. In addition to this bar graph, there is a new display mode for search results called Concordance View. And I'm going to switch to it right here. You just click this button. So here what you have is a display layout that's a lot like a printed concordance. What that means is each match is on its own line. So here are two matches in John 3.36 and we can see them both lined up right here. This layout has some advantages. It's really easy to find a verse among a lot of verses if you think you'd recognize the verse you're looking for just by the, the placement of the word in the text. And this is a really fast way to display verses. You can have a search result with tens of thousands of matches and they just all load up right here. You see I'm just scrolling through all of these and there's no display lag or anything like that. You don't have to page through different, uh, different pages to see your results. And of course this new bar graph works with the concordance view as well. If you find that you prefer this layout, if you always want to see it, your search results this way, all you have to do is right click the button here. You could change the default mode for search results. You can use your verse widgets in concordance view, so it's real easy to access all of these functions. And you can turn this off as well if you decide you don't want them there and you want some more space for the search results to be displayed. Another improvement is the display of the KJVSL. As you can see here, the King James Version with Strong's Links uh, now has a reverse interlinear display mode. That means that the English text is shown above the root word forms rather than in line with them. 
So it's a little bit easier to use and it matches the layout of an interlinear Bible a little bit more closely. And if you don't care for that display mode, you can return it to the previous mode, which is the inline display that you see here. Now there's something I can't really show you in this video, but if you have a new computer with a very high resolution monitor, you're going to appreciate the new support for ultra high DPI displays, 4K monitors. These super high resolution monitors with uh, high scaling levels now look crystal clear with Sword Searcher. The text looks excellent. Uh, so if you have one of these newer computers, you're going to appreciate the changes that were made in order to display the text in a just a perfect crystal clear form on these new computers. Now something else people have asked for is a way to assign shortcut keys to their favorite modules. So now what you can do is you can add a shortcut for any module that you want to. So for example, if I want to, I can pick the Webster's Revised and Abridged Dictionary and I can assign Control W to this module. Click OK. You see here now I have my shortcuts listed. So anytime I'm viewing something, let's say I'm, I'm looking at my uh, TSK references and I want to switch over to the dictionary, all I have to do is type Control W and there it is, it comes forward in the front. And that's a feature kind of designed for keyboard mavens. If you're not really into using your keyboard a lot that way and you prefer the mouse, you're, you're probably not going to make a lot of use of that feature, but it's there for the people who asked for it. Now, a lot more than this has been done. This is a real quick video, but these are the highlights. You could take a look on the website for the complete revision history if you want to see some more details on this. And I will be working on some additional videos to uh, go more into detail on some of these new features. Appreciate you supporting Sword Searcher and for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you very much.